You know, we had to send our producer up to Vancouver to get our hands on you finally, to get you in that seat. So thank you. I want you because I am dying to ask you about housing. This is something that you write a lot about. You've written in recent months a lot about the housing woes that the U.S. market still faces. And you are way ahead of the curve, ahead of the housing bus, too, to go back a few years. Now, there is uh, some news today, some data that housing starts uh, unexpectedly fell in July, groundbreaking on U.S. homes. Uh, new ones unexpectedly fell in July. That's according to the Wall Street Journal. They say unexpectedly and say this is a reminder of the housing market's weakness despite some recent signs of recovery. I doubt this would be unexpected for you as you've been talking about problems with the housing market for a while. What is, before we get into the details, we'll get into those, what are other people missing that you're not, that you're seeing? Wishful thinking and talk about the nuts and bolts that you see, the foundation that you're talking about right here. Let's start with supply. Uh, I thought it was interesting. Another Wall Street Journal was talking about the recent Case Shiller data, the last round that we got, saying uh, that there were broad housing gains across the nation versus prior months and still down a little bit year over year, but much better than from the prior year before that. And they said, hey, if this uh, continues, this should go on through summer because supply is low. Now, I would imagine from what you've written about shadow inventory, that you would uh, disagree with this assumption. So fill us in on how shadow inventory or ghost inventory is haunting the housing market stabilization. Sure. Boom. The National Association of Realtors reported the number of homes that were second homes, vacation properties, investment properties. And the reality was you don't just get a... With modifications and tax credits, and you mentioned how things have been propped up by the Fed. Has this been helping to stabilize the housing market, or has this been prolonging the much-needed bottom so that we can see a real recovery in housing? Time and asset bubble mm -hmm. has been workly... When you get a boom, think about the... In April, that you can still see home prices coming down 10%. Is that still what you think? 10% down from here? 10. And, and then on the, on the demand side, although mortgage rates are, are incredibly low, they're at, at, at you know, mul the lows compared to recent years and decades even, who can qualify for those on the demand side? You mentioned how many people are underwater on their homes. This isn't factoring in people, households that are t uh, credit impaired and can't even qualify. Not That's to right. mention in a period when people are deleveraging and consumers have been up to their eyeballs in debt, who can afford tens of thousands of dollars for a down payment? And with flat wages and a high unemployment rate, who can pay for the monthly right. payment? crazy how many people still can't qualify for that given the situation that we're in right. and, and I'm just curious despite the fact too that housing prices are at lows we haven't seen since what 2003 uh, given that along right. with the low rates still though are houses really affordable post on your blog today talks about that how investors and first-time buyers are not the drivers of uh, housing the housing right. market or primary demand it's repeat buyers so uh, it's, it's interesting it That's sounds right. like we have a really long way to go before we go Barry Ritholtz I want to ask you because mm -hmm. from what I hear you are a pretty no-nonsense guy and so I want to get your no-nonsense okay. response to this and, and I'm not judging you. I'm just saying what I've heard maybe it's right maybe it's wrong but but given that I, I want to mm -hmm. know your response on this report that's come out that that uh, the New York Times deal book says that MF Global executives aren't likely to face criminal charges, that that's what they're hearing from their sources. Right. Uh, despite everything we've seen, that the, ta the customer money that's still missing, that some would say has been stolen, right. no charges for execs. What, what's your reaction to that, if that is true? So the two issues, the two issues people keep talking about, is this because of John Corzine is politically connected, and how can there be nobody mm -hmm. found any sort of guilty? And they're two different things. First. By definition, if a... Let's wrap up with loose change. I have Dimitri here to talk about how the recession is affecting a population you may, you may not think about much, but clowns. In fact, there's so much competition in the industry that some are even fighting over gigs for kids' birthday parties. Look at this. To avoid things getting that ugly, uh, we found a great story about how they're having a clown camp to help camps re or clowns reinvigorate their careers because parents don't want just jokes anymore. They want face painters, magicians, comics, balloon animals, the whole nine yards. One clown said she's seen her for-profit gigs go down 15 to 20 percent. Dimitri, I say 
This is capitalism, creative destruction. Let the clowns go. <laughs> well, I mean, but, but there's obviously like a huge demand for it. We may be in a bull market for clowns. We had clowns, obviously, these banks who were, you know. Uh, Playing, well, and maybe, they're trying to find a way. Too many, Dimitri, when was the last time say, you saw a clown? <laughs> when was the last time you saw a clown? Uh, every, the last time Jamie Dimon gave a press conference. <laughs> okay, besides the clowns on Wall Street, one of these clowns. Uh, the last time I saw a clown. I mean, I don't know. I, mean, I don't think they're terrifying at all. I think they're funny. And uh, have you seen, um, what was that movie, um, The the Problem Child, mm -hmm. where like there was a big, there was a clown at the park. I mean, they look cool. I wanted something like that when I was a kid. I was going to say that, you know, there is no government subsidy for clowns. Turns out, remember that whole GSA scandal and right. the woman resigned? Well, one of the improper expenses that they expensed to the taxpayer was a clown. And that's absurd. And that's, of course, you go, the clowns in Congress are hiring clowns. Yeah. And that's the only demand for clowns is from clowns. That, that's, uh, <laughs> that's eating itself. That's All an industry right. feeding itself. It's like eating your own vomit and reverse right. hitting it. Eating well, it again. time for us to stop planning around because that's all we have time for. So thank you so much for watching and please be sure to come back tomorrow. And in the meantime, you can follow me on Twitter. Give us feedback on the show. Catch any you missed at YouTube.com slash Capital Account. See us in HD on Hulu, Hulu.com Capital Dash Account. And have a great night.